All right, Leah, your first fight in the United States, correct? Are you excited for this opportunity? No, it's not my first fight. I've fought in Vegas with the uh, amateur world championships. So I've had three fights in America, but it's my professional debut First, here. first yeah. pro fight in America. I should have been yeah. more clear on that. But uh, does, it, does it kind of feel like a big, bigger fight in that regard? Like you're fighting somebody from across the world and she's not from here either. Like you guys are coming from two different countries to, to kind of square off across the world? No, it feels like this week has been so calm, so zen compared to Bellator Dublin last February. You know, I was, it was crazy manic and coming here has been so nice and relaxed and chilled and just focused, like not doing 10 million tickets, doing media, doing this, this, this. Like, it's been nice to just get out of that and just be able to focus on myself and not everybody else and everything around me. Yeah, real tempo switch. Because, yeah. I mean, I mean you'll, Bellator will be having fans here next month, but this is the last card where you're going to be fighting in an empty arena. I'm sure you've seen plenty of it on TV, but what are you kind of expecting out of it? Um, I don't know. I, fight night, I don't really take in the crowd until after the fight, so I think, you know, I'm, I'm quite laser-focused like, going in there. Um, it might feel a wee bit different, but the game plan's still the same, strategy's still the same, you know. It's a fight at the end of the day, so it's going to be the same same job on the night. And you and Janae were matched up last year and it obviously didn't come together. Were you happy that this matchup ended up coming to fruition after all? Yeah, I asked for I asked for this fight last year and Mike said yeah. And then I I watched her her last fight and I said, can I fight her on my next fight? And they said yeah, so like I made it happen. Um, I think it's going to be a good, a good matchup for me to show my level and I need an opponent like her to bring out the best in me. And I'm, I'm really excited for Friday night. Yeah, and what do, you, what do you think it is about her style that like makes you interested that you asked for it? I think she's quite technically efficient. She's um, experienced. She's got hearts to be in, in, in there with tough people. She's, you know, all of her fights are, are not easy fights. Um, I like that. I like opponent in this game is going to come to fight and again bring out the best of me. I think you need that sometimes, that bit of a. Uh, um, I don't know if it's a step up. I've fought very tough girls in the past, but it's just a different kind of. She's bringing different skill sets to the table on Friday, and it's it's going to be interesting to see uh, how the fight plays out. Yeah, and that was that was going to be my next question. Was like, you know, you fought some tough girls in the past, but maybe not with the name recognition that Janae has. And now there's rankings, so this fight means even more. So do you feel like this is a little bit of a step up? You know, kind of a step in the right direction towards that title. Yeah, I just I just focused on my my performance and, and bringing out the best of myself on the night. I just want to show my skill, show what. You know, the past 15 months, I was out with major shoulder surgery for six months. And then I had COVID and I had 10 million other injuries. And you know, every day I was still working till progressing in different areas and seeing where I could get improved, not just smashing my body in the mats every day, you know. Um, and taking that bit of time to step back and slow down and calm and kind of analyse, you know, my performances and what I really need to do to bring out the best in me. And I think that, that kind of has, has all came together. Was that surgery something you had planned before COVID or was it just like, okay, you know, now we're in the midst of a pandemic, I might not be competing, so let me get this, get this No, done. it just, I, I went, to, I couldn't do pull-ups, I couldn't do press-ups, I couldn't grapple, it was, it was sharp pain in my shoulder all the time. And in July I went to the surgeons and they said that my, my shoulder was like that of somebody twice my age, just years and years of damage of, of smashing my body in the gym, fighting, oh, I trained so hard, I fight hard. Um, I did judo when I was a kid, and you know, this is my, my, my side I land on, so I land, I throw my opponent and land on them, and my body weight lands on this shoulder. So this whole game plan, you know, Owen, my head coach Owen Roddy, we've been like, Leah can't do not, don't do one throw in training, which has been good for me to develop everything else. So I've developed a lot more than just uh, my egg game. For sure, and uh, you, you talked about your time away, and I know you like doing the, the broadcast with Bellator as well, and doing the desk work with them, and, there's no European events coming up. We don't know when they're going to be back. A bunch of fighters have been released. You kind of bummed out about that whole thing. That, yeah, that, yeah, totally. I love Bellator Europe. I'm so passionate about it. You know, I, I, everybody says they want to fight in America. It's like I know I want to fight in Europe. I want to fight in Dublin. I want to fight in London. Like there, the energy's different. The, the crowd is amazing. It's just like uh, it's just a different environment. But again, it's nice to be in America. It's it's, it's a lot more zen, chill, and. Um, yeah, I'm just so, I'm really appreciative to be here in this position after 15 months of everybody going through hell and shit with COVID and not being able to leave their house. And I definitely feel more gratitude this week that I have, and I'm doing what I love and I've got this opportunity. And it'll probably make you appreciate the fans when you do go back home and you do fight in front of a packed arena, right? Yeah, definitely. You yeah. know, obviously my last fight was in, in Dublin and I had a for Dublin and there was like 10,000 fans. So 
going from that one extreme to like the complete opposite is going to be interesting. Have you kind of pictured what's going to go down on Friday in your head? Like, how do you see it playing out? Uh, I see, I, like, I'm going out to win every exchange, every grapple, every clinch, every position, and if all else feels turn into a fight, I just feel like I have improved in areas that people, I'll show on Friday night, and I've got that, you know, everyone's kind of came together, um, and the strategy, strategies I work on in the gym every day, and the, and the game plan, I just feel like my fight IQ is higher, and um, I'll be more dominant in positions.